Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and welcome back at Mastercam Multi Access Tutorials and Toolpath. So this is our Mastercam Multi Access another one video and in this video we will discuss about that how we can create a pocketing toolpath or a roughing toolpath with the help of Mastercam Multi Access. So in this video we will learn about that how we can create a roughing toolpath or rough passes when we required for a multi axis part when we required a 4 axis or a 5 axis so this is now we are starting to cut that part this is the first simulation how this part is going to be cutting like that and after that I will show you each and every single parameter of this beautiful tool path which is mostly using for the roughing purpose I would like to tell you for all of you guys if you are all not much aware with the multi axis in a multi axis mostly we are trying to make a roughing passes with the help of 3 plus 2 and after that for the finishing we are uh, after that for the finishing we are using simultaneous cutting but this tool path is using for the roughing purpose is also for the simultaneously where we tool is and workpiece though both uh, consistently moving consistently uh, movement is available with this one so as you can see this is with the simulation video it is cutting in a dynamic form and this is a very good tool path for the cutting or for the roughing purpose on a multi axis so you will learn each and every single parameter how we can create tool how we can do the all these things so this is my last pass on this but last pass for this one that one model so this is four axis i mounted on a four axis machine and it's cutting the last and final passes it's a full cutting in a form of a dynamic where use with the help of a flute cut so as you can see here this is my part and it's make the mostly part and now i would like to show you and came to the part so basically this is my part and with the help of a multi axis tool path we create our tool path and show you the simulations and now i would like to show you how this is happening how this part have to be cut in a perfect and a proper format so for creating a toolpath I just delete everything which is available right at here so click on this Fataka Futa delete all these things and now we are starting to create the toolpath from the very basic and the beginning so for creating a toolpath on a mastercam multi axis first we have to came on a mill and multi axis here are all the multi axis toolpath we have to click, click on right at here and this is available in application toolpath from the mastercam 2023 all toolpaths are now together so for example we are using this one the pocketing tool path first we have to click on a pocketing once we click on a pocketing there is one window is blinking right at here first thing that we have to define or select the tool so for at here we have to click select the tool uh, defining the flat end mill which diameter is 6 mm or uh, you can choose as per your requirement when we are doing these kind of roughing so make sure we have to define the stock value or a raw material so for defining the stock model or raw metal we have to came in a stock turn on this stock defining the job setup or a raw material click on this this is come at the level and I this is my raw material select the entire raw material just click on this ok and after that there are some parameters are available like as some important parameters are like as stock adjustment this is we, we will learn in a future if when required we can expand and shrink our stock as per the need after that collision control which we already know about that we can choose the collision control for the uh, solder for the sang for the holder all these things we have to control the collision if there is any collision so we what we can do or tool mastercam will detect okay this is the collision and toolpath will be not created at here after that now we have to came on the one of the most important parameter of each tool path or tool path height this is called cut parameter in a cut parameter we have to define the most of the parameter when we are talking about the pocketing tool path it's a totally different as compared to any other tool path so in a cut parameter first we have to define the machining geometry in a machining geometry what is the machining geometry i came to the label turn on this geometry or a machining model defining the all surfaces which we want to the machining for this one so these are the all surfaces which we want to machining I just choose all these and just say and select after that we have to define the floor where is my floor 
so its floor means this is my floor I just define this right at here the floor surface and after that if you want some stock on a machining geometry as well as the floor you can define right at here after that we have to came the multiple types of method we can use we can defining with the help of pocketing roughing we can use the floor finishing and we can do the wall finishing but this is mostly we are using for the roughing purpose only if required the finishing we can use any other master cam multi axis tool path which is much better as compared to the roughing for the finishing purpose after that in a strategy we can choose the multiple type of strategy first is offset from the floor offset from the cell and offset a morph between cell and the floor mostly we have to choose the offset from the floor the how my tool have to be cut then the dynamic format or an offset we have to choose the dynamic the cutting method one way or zigzag and the direction of cutting clamp or convention after that in the machining portion how it should be cut in the levels or reason levels or reason it means if we have the two pockets at a time uh, level means uh, each area it will be cut the same and reason means first it will cut the one pocket and after that it moves to the next after that if we require to make some rest roughing kind of passes so you can add the rest roughing kind of passes when you click so if something is add on you can define in the previous tool diameter and some add the parameters and you can add the rough rest rough you can add the containment portion containment portion as you all know if we require to be create the containment portion uh, create the tool path on a particular area so we can defining with the help of this and after that we have to came the step down how much the depth of cut for the particular tool path so for example I just define the depth of cut is 4 mm and here you can define the four, uh, step over value for this particular tool path for example this is just I want to show you the simulation and how the tool path is created you can choose the exact value when you are creating on a particular machine and as here for now uh, when you are creating your first tool path on a multi axis always defining the tolerance value in higher so your tool processing time should be reduced automatically so these are the all parameter which we have to choose in the cut, param, cut pattern in the next step we have to came on a depth step nothing you have to define it. tool axis control there is nothing is available for the roughing purpose if we go for the finishing tool axis control will be automatically on in a collision control we can defining the collision how much uh, we have to define the distance for the holder for the sand and for the solder so this is my as you can see here this is my holder this is my sank and this is my solder after that we have to came on the linking linking is uh, totally different for the pocketing but we don't have to require to make some major changes the major changes are like at here uh, for example first i have to click on ok and after that we will discuss some remaining parameters or some important parameters also so i just say ok my tool path is processing it have to be calculated from with the help of the multiple things as now as you can see here my tool path is created but it's cutting at the outer portion also from the pocket because it's my raw material is still here so what we have to do we have to defining the prop particularly containment boundary and after that the second thing is my tool is coming from much upper side this is entry from this the distance is much higher so we have to control the both of these things so for controlling of both those things we have to came again in a parameter first we have to control the outer portion with the help of the containment just define this containment and just say ok so now look at this what is happening when we are defining the containment our tool path is going to be controlled with the help of a 3d particular perfect area and it's controlled perfectly after that in the next step what we think what we have to do we have to controlling the entry portion or entry motion this thing we can controlling right from here this is the entry feed rate that is we starting from the 10 mm we can reduce it with the 2 mm and exit feed rate also with the 2 mm and just say ok when we are controlling both of these as you can see from the right view this is we can controlling with the help of this after that if we want to talk about some other and important parameters we have to add on the linking some parameters are also similar as previous in a roughing there are some things are add on in a roughing the first is approach move it means how tool have to be entered there are the multiple three views you can use the automatic you can use the line or you can use the helix automatic is the best method to enter a 
tool path and these are the parameter we can mastercam automatically choose as per the tool if you want to make some changes you can do and in advance there is not more changes required in a utility uh, we will learn in the further also so here are the all the things all the parameters on a mastercam multi-axis toolpath and now if you want to see this toolpath in a particularly properly in a simulation now i would like to show you so this that the starting that we are uh, so in a 3d simulation and now as you can see this is my 2d simulation so i hope you get understand each and every single parameter of the mastercam multi-axis pocketing tool path which we are using for the roughing purpose in a further videos we will also learn the remaining tool path so keep learning and keep growing keep connected with us for the more videos and if you want to practice on these particular models go and please join our mastercam multi-axis channel where you can get access for the all model file which we are created on these videos so thank you so much keep connect be connected the more videos